Now we are going to study a poem called The Trees, written by Adrian Rich. The trees are almost crying out, wanting to break out of their bondage and return to their natural surroundings. Adrian Rich was born in 1929, died in 2012. She was born in Baltimore, USA. That is where trees ought to be, where birds can come and nest and people can come and rest under the cool shade offered by the tree. Now look at a typical modern house. The trees inside are moving out into the forest, the forest that was empty all these days, where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning. All night the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain toward the glass. Small twigs, stiff with exertion, long cramped boughs shuffling under the roof like newly discharged patients, half dazed, moving to the clinic doors. The leaves are trying to push through the glass window pane as though trying to escape from captivity. The branches are feeling cramped under the roof. The poet likens these trees to zombie-like patients shuffling along, trying to move toward the clinic doors. Trees actually thrive in the open. No matter how much care we give them indoors, they will not enjoy the freedom of a jungle. Trees, like animals, are also living beings. When we keep plants and trees inside the home, they feel constricted, just like animals. Look at the lush growth in the open forests. Can this be replicated indoors? What resplendent trees! A gift of God indeed. Can we ever create the environment indoors which can match nature's splendor? Look at this. God has a purpose which man ought not to meddle with. That's the poet's plea. Some more illustrations of the splendorous colors of nature. Look at this picture. Trees growing wild. Trees that are free. What a riot of colors. Who can recreate these inside homes? Trees are free to express themselves outdoors. Trees are the abode for animals too. Look how animals are enjoying themselves. The soothing ways of nature. What a glorious way to bathe the trees with his light. The poet makes an impassioned plea to mankind to free trees from the captivity of the indoor life. Let them be where the night is full of freshness and the moon is captivatingly beautiful. The smell of leaves and lichen reaches those indoors like a voice coming from far away. Anyone who has traversed the jungles can recall the musty smell of the flora and the foliage. That distinctive smell which cannot be replicated in the gardens created inside drawing rooms. The poet almost dreams as though the glass panes are breaking and the trees are stumbling into the night, escaping from their captivity into freedom, where they are greeted with clean, fresh winds and the moon in all its glory, broken like a mirror, its broken pieces flashing around the top of the tall oak trees. My head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent. Listen, the glass is breaking, the trees are stumbling forward, into the night. What fabulous trees growing free in their natural habitat. I sit inside, doors open to veranda, writing long letters in which I scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house. Lichen, this word means the moss that grows on trees. The night is fresh, the whole moon shines in a sky still open. The smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms. Winds rush to meet them. The moon is like a broken mirror. Its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak. Next we come to the poem called Fog by Carl Sandberg.